Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with number 3 in the series The Rook Rules. It is Wednesday and every Wednesday I show you a position where a rook plays an important role. This one is short and sweet but very nice and very spectacular. It was played in 1958 in East Germany. In those days Germany was split in two countries. It was played by Heimsoth with white and Heisenbutta with black and it is white to play and win let's have a look at the position black has a checkmate threat with queen takes c2 that would be checkmate on top of that white is also four pawns down so white is in real trouble white would love to have his queen on g7 then it would be the black king that will be checkmated but how to do that with those two rooks that are in the way there is no combination possible on the g-file for the moment a move like queen g2 or rook back to g2 that protects the c2 square and there's no checkmate but white is so much material behind that is not really an option that's not a way for white to win the game so what to do if you want to look for yourself put a video on pause and have a look it's quite a spectacular way that white can still win this position he can do that by playing the rook from g5 to c5 and Mr. Heimzot found it. What does that move do? Well, for starters it is protecting against the checkmate. The rook is protecting c2 through the queen. It's also attacking the queen. Black's queen is attacked. And finally it gets the white queen a bit closer to g7 to deliver checkmate herself. Because one of the rooks is now out of the way. What to do? An extra complication for black is that he cannot play his queen away to c3 or d4 to protect the g7 square because those squares are taken. c3 is taken by the rook and d4 is taken by queen and knight. There's really no way out for black surprisingly. In the end Mr. Heisenbutter decided to take the rook and now you can find the mate in two from white. Do you see it? There's only one way to win, but it is very convincing. Rook takes h7 check, wins the game for white. You have to take either with the king or with the knight, and now the path is free for white's queen to g7, and this is checkmate. Wonderful, as I said, short and sweet, but quite nice. Hope you enjoyed this position where the rook ruled. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up, please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel, and please leave a comment. If you like this video, if you like the series, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. This is Rick for Chester Press. Thank you for watching.